Jab this week released 33 years of tax returns, the most ever revealed by a presidential candidate that shows he paid an average effective tax rate of 36%. I actually applaud that. Mitt Romney only paid about 15%. So he paid more than Mitt Romney. But his net worth is between 19 to $22 million. That's not even the maniac part. So the maniac part is this. This guy's running for president of the United States. And he's going to be, like he says, he's going to go and he's going to fight for the American people. But the crazy part, America, is this. When Jeb Bush left the governor's mansion in 2007... His income exploded and increased by 707, uh, 772% more than he earned during his final year as governor. Can't even fathom that number, right? And I think he's hiding something. I think he's trying to show the world, look at me. I know I'm a Wall Street crony and my brother sent us to two wards illegitimately, but I'm a good person. You know, at least I show, at least I told you that I'm connected to Wall Street. I think there's something to be said about that, right? Like, at least at the end of the day, he says, yes, if you vote for me, I will be your Wall Street, I will be a Wall Street tycoon. I will always fall on the side of big banks, big businesses, and those who collect big bonuses. So yes, indeed, he is a maniac for a lot of reasons, but at least he's a truthful maniac. He's like, yes, I am a maniacal Wall Street believer. I will go to my grave, Loving and believing that Wall Street is great and grand and Wall Street can do nothing wrong. And I think that there's something to be said about, about that. Like, there's something to be said about a guy who's like, I'm so pro Wall Street, you can't believe it because they're paying me so much money. <laughs> right? Um, now, politicians often release tax returns opening up their personal finances to public scrutiny to promote a sense of transparency around their campaign. But the documents can also create a political headache, as it did for Mitt Romney. But when he released his tax returns, people were like, wait a minute, you ain't paid no taxes. So at least Jeb Bush is trying to say here, yes, indeed, I do pay my taxes. But even though I pay my taxes, I still make a goo gobs worth of money. And if you elect me to be your president, I'll be another rich white guy in the White House that will implement policy that only benefit the rich and wealthy. Now, the real maniacs are people who vote for that guy. Because voting for that guy means you voted for a person who clearly tell you, who's clearly told you by where, my mom always told me this one thing. You know who you are by the company you keep. So if you keep, if you hang out with the, if you hang out with Lehman Brothers, company that went, you know, kaputs because of bad trading policies, right, kaputs. That's who you hang out with. That means that you want to make our nation go kaputs, like the Lehman Brothers. Run, America. Run. Run quickly. Run fast. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your husbands, too, because if Jeb Bush is the, is the president of the United States, you could basically name, rename Pennsylvania Avenue to Wall Street. And that is a very maniacal thing to do.